hi guys welcome back to our channel and if you're new here make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a video today we are making a quick breakfast meal recipe this meal was so good and it was super easy to make it doesn't take long at all it's beginner friendly and i will list everything down below also i just want to say thank you guys so much for subscribing liking and commenting we appreciate you guys so much now let's get into it First, we're gonna start off with our French toast mix. We have our eggs, half and half. We have our sugar, cinnamon, and vanilla. First, she's gonna crack three eggs in the bowl. And then we're gonna add some sugar and some cinnamon. You can add how much you want to your liking. And then we're gonna add a few shakes of vanilla. And then we're gonna go ahead and stir that mixture in. After a few moments of stirring, we're gonna go ahead and add in our half and half. You don't need too much, you just need a little bit. And then we're gonna go ahead and stir that mixture in as well. Once your mixture look like this, you're gonna go ahead and pull out your bread and then cut them in half. Now we are just using regular old bread. Usually you wanna use brioche, but it's up to your preference. It was just something we had around the house. Once your bread is cut up, you're gonna need a medium-sized pan and then some virgin olive oil. And then we're gonna add some butter. Then we're gonna add our bread to our French toast mixture. You want to quickly coat each side. Once you cover both sides, just put it in the pan and then you're just gonna repeat the process. Now your cooking preference is totally up to you, how hard you want it, how soft you want it. We cooked each side at least one to two minutes and then we flipped to the other side. We like ours more on the soft side, so that's why we do one to two minutes. If you want more of a crunchier French toast, then I would do about three to four minutes. Once your French toast is cooked, we're just gonna add some melted butter. Then she's adding some cinnamon and sugar on top. This helps with the sweet flavor. Once you add it in, you can never go back. Next is our potatoes. We're gonna need a medium sized skillet and then we're gonna use some virgin olive oil. You wanna add enough just so it can more so fry in the pan. Here we got our pre-cut veggies. And then we have our pre-cut potatoes, and then we have our can of cooked seasoning, which I will leave down below. That's all you need. Once the skillet is ready, we're gonna go ahead and add in our potatoes first. And then we're gonna go ahead and add in our vegetables, which is onions and bell peppers. Then we got our Candice Cook seasoning. This is a mixture of spices, so this is the only thing that you need. It tastes so good on potatoes. And then we're just gonna top it off with a lid for about five to 10 minutes. Next is the Granny Smith apple chicken sausage, which is life-changing. It is so good. You have to try it, it's amazing. And then we put it in our air fryer for about 15 minutes.
after our potatoes have cooked for a little bit, we're gonna go ahead and check on them and flip them over. She ended up adding just a little bit more of the seasoning. And then we're gonna let it cook for a little bit more. Now she's gonna make the eggs. We're gonna go ahead and crack up four eggs. And then she's gonna add some half and half. This is the key to getting fluffy eggs, which are the best eggs in my opinion. So if you like fluffy eggs, add this in here. It's life changing. And then we're gonna add some cheddar cheese. Next, she's gonna add some pico de gallo. If you don't use pico de gallo in your eggs, what are you doing? Run to the store right now and go get you some. It is so freaking good. And then we're gonna check on our potatoes again. They are not quite done yet, about 10 more minutes and they should be ready. Then we're gonna add some sea salt. And then we're gonna add a few shakes of black pepper. And then she's gonna stir everything together. After that, then we're gonna get a flat pan cast iron skillet, and then we're gonna add some butter. Once the butter has melted, then we're gonna go ahead and add our eggs. After it sit for just a moment, then we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna start scrambling our eggs. Now you're gonna constantly keep stirring around your mixture of eggs. This helps get them fluffy and also cook a little faster. Once your eggs start to look like this, then they are done and you can take it off the heat. After about 10 minutes, your potatoes should be done. It smelled so good when she opened up the lid. After your potatoes are done, your sausage should be done as well. If you guys want to see this plated, I will also post the shorts after this video is uploaded as well. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And we'll see you guys in the next video.